your application so for example uh, your application background is white which means a light thing right if you want to update this thing uh, like in your app this is a, your, your app component and and the entire body and your app component if you change the background color red your entire application uh, will be red color right for example i just uh, height will be 100 vhz so if you want to change uh, this is a black theme then you need to change the black color if you want to change the white theme then you want to change the white if you want to change red theme any kind of theme you need to use uh, here only right so uh, i will i will i will show you how to do uh, this uh, use context will help us to maintain the user session as well as in the theme so we can see uh, some of the application have uh, multiple themes they are integrating within the same project if you click a red color then the entire page, entire application will change red color across all the pages so currently we have only one page uh, i will i will show you how to do that if you want to update a single component for the th for theme that also we can do i will show you now um, in upcoming session uh, when we start implementing the dom uh, react router at that time we will we will see more deeply about uh, the theming concept so jump into the code <coughs> So copy this CSS, put it in Adder.js and so style, put this single quotes. Yeah, so uh, current, what you're going to do, we need to use use effect, right? So for that, there is a, uh, there is some, uh, uh, there is some procedure to create the context. So within the project, uh, today's session, I'm going to create a new directory called context. We can create a direct JS file, but in, in general, um, for the big application, we need to create multiple contexts. That's what I'm creating the context file here. And within that, uh, we need to use theme.context.js file, right? So we need to, uh, we need, first we need to create the context. Then only we need to use the context across the application. So how to create the context? First of all, um, we need to use create context. So import uh, react and from react right so here react have the default method called create context so within the help of create context only we are going to create the context so as usual we need to export the context export const theme context is equal to create context uh, the initial value will be null i setting as null if you want we can uh, change accordingly if you want to uh, light theme then you can put light here if you want a uh, dark theme, then you can put dark here. But in general, uh, I put a null. So that's the thing, uh, we, we just created the context. So after that, what we need to do, we need to use the context in our application, right? So for that, we need to inject this context to across the application for that. Uh, what is the root file of the application? That is app.js file. So jump into the app.js file. And after that, first import, import theme context from from the session file context theme context right so we import that after that what we need to do we need to wrap it with the application so here what to do react theme context and use provider and then so uh, here you can see when you when you click dot after that you have the two things consumer and provider so consumer means nothing but uh, whatever the data we are retrieved from the particular uh, application provider means whatever the data the context have it will provide to the application so that's the thing right so here we need provider so that's what I, i'm adding the provider and we just wrap with the entire application just to some formatting and that's all so after that uh, we 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 are we are adding the provider but we didn't provide anything right so we need to provide the value so what is the value uh, we need to provide we need to do uh, I'm going to create on state variable here. So like a theme and a set theme is equal to use state, right? So here we are uh, creating a theme. Here I'm maintaining the light theme. And here we need to pass these two themes into the values. Actually, um, like this. Okay, so 
So this is the way theme dot provider. We are pausing the value. So this is the actual uh, value, and uh, this is uh, by this function we need to update the theme. Okay. So now what we need to do here we need to change the entire color. So for example, background background color is theme. So what are the theme there? So we just setting the theme. Let's save it, and if you put um, okay, if theme is equal to equal to light, then it should be white, white background. If if that is not light, then obviously it will be dark. So let's consider we have two themes: light theme, light theme, and dark theme. So for that, the background will be the black. Save it. Okay. So now we can see uh, here the white color is updated. Uh, if we if you want to set the theme. From the different uh, component, so uh, this is the actual application. So we have the state component uh, within the app, which means that is a part of the application. So you can see in the components. So inside the app, we have the provider, and in the provider, we have the two things, uh, like one is the theme, one is the set theme, that is a dispatch state, and the other one is actual theme, that is a light theme, right? And within the app, we have the only one component. Even though we have the we have creating multiple components, but we are not used in the application. So currently, we are we are using only state component. So that state component have the some of the values, but the thing is, uh, I I don't want uh, light theme. So whenever I want, uh, I need to switch uh, light theme to dark theme, but not in the app at this file. I need to I need to I need to change the theme in the state component. How to do that? So for that, we have the use effect hook. So we have the sorry, use effect con use context hook. So we have the use context, and we need to use here. So const equal to use context. So within the context, we need to use the uh, React context. So whatever whatever the context we are created here, right? That is the theme context we are creating. That is that theme context actually give the data to the application. So we need to we need to import that particular context here. And okay, I directly use theme context here. So it got not imported. So within the theme context, we have in the theme context provider have value and children. So that uh, in the in the value it have set theme and the theme. So we have the two values, and we need to uh, reduce the decorator um, theme and set theme. Right? Exactly same, right? Yes. So now you can get the theme value. What is the theme value available for the application? Now go to your application, your your code, and you can say style and so. I can set the background color. If the theme is equal to equal to light, then you can use white. Else, I can use. In the similar way, you can write all the things. Like, uh, uh, if we are in the similar thing, copy the style and put here. Put here. Yes. So here we change the background color for the for the page, uh, at least in the state component. And if the back if the theme is light, then we are setting in the white. So it's a label, so we need to give the color. If the color is uh, if the theme is light, then it will be uh, white. Uh, for the color, we need to change back. Light theme, we need to use the text color is black. If the theme is uh, black, then we need to use white color. Similarly. In the input box, right? Similarly, this label, this label, and for the button, uh, yeah, button have the background color. If it is a light theme, uh, obviously background color will be a black, and maybe in the normal time we can say uh, uh, red. Okay, so then the color will be always white. Save it. Go here. We can see uh, this one, but uh, how to update the theme? Uh, cut it. And put here. Update theme. Update theme. So whenever you are update, whenever uh, you are clicking this button, at that time you need to update, right? So set theme. Will be dark. Save it. Go back. 
when you click this the enter page will convert as the black theme uh, by this way you can show uh, you can switch light theme to dark theme if you want to go back uh, the light theme you need to create the new button or else you can use the switch so if the switch is enabled then you can use light theme if the switch is disabled you can use the dark theme like that up to your own logic so you can update this light update theme to light to dark save it go back so when you click it will change the light theme when you click dark it will change the dark theme so this is the way uh, you need to use use uh, you need to use the context